we shall continue to talk about activation records or also known as stack frames in a little bit more of detail because understanding activation record or the stack frame is critical to understanding recursion so you can think of a box maintaining details of all functions being called and in that box we are maintaining certain records of what all functions are being called so a stack frame can be best thought of as if you go to a buffet there are one plate kept on the other so the plate which is kept the last is taken out the first so that's why that is called as the last in first out mechanism so the best way to visualize this stack box is to think of it as a pile of dishes kept one on the other or you can think of a number of books piled up one on the other you always take out the topmost book first and then one below that one below that and so on now the order of removal is the last item which has been placed is the item which is taken out the first that is why it is known as last in first out or lifo that method of lifo is used to manage this stack frame or activation records now when main was called we pushed or we added a data frame or a activation record to the stack box that is known as pushing adding a item to the stack is known as pushing removing an item from a stack is known as popping when does removing happen when result finished execution we popped out the activation record of result when factorial finished executing we popped out the act uh, uh, activation record of factorial now the important thing is the keeping track of which function is calling which where to return all this is taken care of because of this stack frame or activation record now i am able to see that after main main calls fact fact calls result after result finishes i should be able to come to fact after fact finishes i should be able to come to main this call return mechanism okay is basically been possible because of maintaining record of each of these functions so this call function call is managed using this stack lifo principle now let's say a calls b b calls c c calls d so a is going to be at the bottom then you are going to have b then you are going to have c then you are going to have d so the first item called main is going to be at the bottom on top of main you are going to have factorial on top of factorial you are going to have the activation record of result now it is very important that when a function is called after the function finishes execution we should be able to come back to the caller before i go there let me and tell you a few terms main is calling factorial so main is the caller factorial is the callee factorial is calling result in that case factorial is the caller result is the callee so when main calls factorial and factorial calls result after we execute result there should be a way of coming back to factorial or coming back to the caller function each time this is achieved by popping the activation record so each time a function main calls factorial a data frame or information about that function being called is pushed on to the stack so for example when factorial is called the parameter number and the local variable fact is pushed on to the stack this item which is maintained on in that box is known as the activation record or the stack frame activation record contains the return address where result should come after executing factorial or where after fact executing factorial where it should come back in main plus information about parameters and local variables and a few other things which are not important at this particular stage function on completing execution causes that i had shown you in the previous video once result gets executed completes execution that frame activation record is popped out or removed from the stack and using the return address in that popped frame using the return address stored in result we are able to come back to factorial when factorial completes execution using the return address stored in the activation record of factorial we are able to come back to main and when main is done using the return address of where it should go into the operating system 
which is stored in the activation record of main that is used when main is popped out. Now you need to understand a very important concept something called as stack overflow. Let us say you decide you write a program just assuming you write a program which calls 10 million functions one after the other not one at a time one after the other one after the other in sequence a calls b b calls c c calls d d calls e all the way till million more than likely you are not going to have enough memory to store a million activation records because that stack space exists in the main memory and it has a finite amount of space so it may overflow that's number one number two is suppose you write something like this let us say let me give you an example let us say you write a function okay which is like this don't look at anything else let's say the name of the function is funk okay and you call this function endlessly there is no end to this funk is calling funk again it's coming in again calling funk there is no way to exit this then what will happen is at some point it cannot store any more activation records of function and it will lead to a stack overflow maybe in the demo code i'll show you a overflow how it can be created all right that's number two now i have already mentioned local variables parameters that is num fact are in the activation record of factorial okay now when you pop out the activation record or the stack frame of that particular function the parameters as well as the local variables are not accessible because that particular memory location is no longer reachable by you because that data frame or activation record has been removed from the memory that's why when you quit a function you are not able to access their local variables now very important to understand suppose main is calling factorial factorial is calling result when result is executing all of the activation record of main factorial and result will be active the minute result completes exec execution it will be popped out and you will have only activation record of factorial and main in the stack box once factorial completes execution the activation record of factorial also goes so you will have the activation record of only those functions which are currently in the main memory and are being executed or are in the process of being executed by the computer the minute the execution completes the activation record is thrown off so i hope you got a good idea about what is the activation record and its importance once we come to recursion you will appreciate why so much effort was spent on explaining activation records